All right, we should be good. Testing. Test. Yep. Yep. All right, we hear the game. Yeah, I think it's coming soon. Yep. Okay. Okay, so here we are at the Echo Combat Mini League. How is everybody doing today? Great. <laughs> doing good. Good. We're here with Dazzy, Heavy, myself, Jock, and Vibonator. So we have one America and three Europeans here. <laughs> it should be an interesting game. So what do you think is going to happen today? I'll leave that open to anybody. Um, okay. I think, I believe this match could genuinely go either way. Uh, but then again, V respawn having maybe a slight upper hand due to having a tiny bit more uh, chemistry, I suppose. Due to the due to the length of time the team team itself has been together, uh, yeah. I with, mean, I've heard those guys play with each other a lot. Yeah, and then uh, well, with Cry Havoc, they have I think two people from their the original team from ECFL, which is Impulse, which is that, and that's T and Robo, and then I think Flux is a new addition. So, so T is L E T, I take it. Yes. For everybody watching this. Yeah, this is going to be a hard one. I know uh, we're on Dyson here for the first map, and uh, everyone knows that's Robo's favorite map. He's very vocal about how much he likes this map. So it's you might be thinking it's going to lean Cry Havoc's way, but I would watch out for Kaznaz on the Nova. He's been a force to, to beat in these uh, mini-league matches. All righty then. Well, uh, do you want to give them the ready ups and tell them we're uh, good to go? Yeah, it looks like we're good to go. Oh, Vibonaya, how do you think this is going to go? All righty then. <laughs> Hi, <Vibonaya. laughs> I hope he's here. Oh, he's here. Finally. Right. Yeah. Vibonaya, how do you think this is going to go? Let's get your input. Blue squad, ready. Well, firstly, to be honest, it will be V respawn. Most likely going to win. Orb as we all know, Robo just you know, sucks as a player. Um, yeah, I mean, they got Flux, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, they've got Flux and T. They're two very strong players. Yeah, but they got Robo. So, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a close one. Of I see some bias it's... coming from the European announcers here. <laughs> well, Maybe there's some honest. hurt feelings about getting knocked into the losers bracket early on. Maybe not. Well, not to dig up any old baggage. It's, it's 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 probably more a case of you know Robo was so nice to the Europeans through the entire ECFL season that they probably deservedly want to give some back. Yeah, and remember there is Dyson the respawn. Hey, oh, the uh, match has started. Anyway, Quick go. action. Right, here we go. Junction oh, is hot just... with lots of eliminations, and it looks like we have Cry Havoc coming out with the control. Four, three, Although uh, two, there was a lot of stuff being one. used on Cry Havoc's side there. A detonator, an instant heal, a threat scan, oh, and a uh, repair matrix coming out there. Yeah, heavy at the moment. Can we, is it possible to raise the game into body? The top ring? Uh, game volume would have to come through Duel. He would have to pump up his volume. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Cry Havoc are sitting in the tunnel. V Respawn's got the point. They're fighting out of the tunnel, which is a very strange place to fight from. They should. I think they need 40 gold. Arc Mine pops off. Ooh, that was a sneaky arc mine. A very well played there. Midman hitting the shots. Levity with the big meteor. Yeah, so so much so much for uh, this is Robo's favorite map at the moment, but uh, anything could change because you know the respawn times on here are quite quick. Here they come, and into the point, and a lot of damage again being thrown. And Kaznaz so taking out the cool. comet off Cry Havoc. And their meteor leaving run, just the Nova. Oh. A lot of damage being done initially, like right off the bat, as soon as 
as soon as Cry Havoc got to the point, a lot of damage was dealt. We should quickly mention that this is a one cap limit, so you can only have one ornament, one attack mod, and one weapon per team. So you notice the strats are a lot different when you do more stacking. At the it moment, is... yeah. There is a definitely a massive noise here in the chest speed. Because the classic 4 vs 4. Levity. There you go. Take Finally it. Finally Finally took the respawn off the point. But a 90%, they literally cannot make one more one mistake now. Yes, they have to win all the next fights that uh Goo will throw at them. The tunnel's yep. V Reed just back. holding control. Yeah. Oh, and they got a power up as well. Free. Look at that. Free test the supercharge. Round complete. Orange squad well, victory. 32. <sighs> yeah. Right that was fast. That was a quick practice. round. <laughs> that was, that was very a quick. very fast. So this is a first of a double elimination, isn't it today? Uh, yeah, first of the um, double elimination. The respawn haven't lost yet. So this and... could be the final, or there could be one more, depending. If the respawn wins this, then it's over. Whereas if uh, Cry Havoc Prepare win, to then they'll the have point. to beat them a second time. Yeah, and it is a best of three, so you need to win two maps. Sure. Ooh, deleting. Kaznaz. Yeah, quick wipe. This time nothing being used. Yeah, so. he's just popping off there. A lot of Are stuff we... being conserved as well. Yeah. This next one's going to be interesting. Looks like they're stacking in the back pad, doing a push right into the point. Oh, they're going up high. They're going to... Look over the roof here, oh, peek in. Unlocking in. Five, four, Try to chip away some three, damage. Two, one. Capture the point. But again, we be, we be Looks like T's looking to sneak in. in. Drops Kaznaz with a Ooh. meteor and a Nova. Levity goes down. T with a triple kill. Very, very, very well played. That was an organized attack, chipping away from outside and the Nova flanked right in and wiped out the team. Good use of phase. Point contested. Bra shield. Busting out the shield inside of the wow. point. You love to see it. A lot of damage being done there. Gotta love that surprise shield. V respawn does. That, 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 that was a clinch for the shield. Does. <laughs> does not want to that point to be taken from them. Coming back with force to bring it right back into possession. I'm going to be interested to see if that uh, Archmine they've slapped out there gets used. Now we're seeing them attack from Junction. Repair Matrix live. All three sticking together. Archmine set off the no. Still a 3v3. All six players alive. Kaz is the first to go. A second might be used from and a second there, triple but... kill for T. And a bit of a stagger there as captured. well. Giving them the bad spawn times too. Even here at 33%. It's like a rerun. Kaznaz pushes off Flux and he phases away. Trying to set up a flank in the tunnel behind. Decides not to. Ooh, oh, pushing the shield too hard. It's predictable. Levity dropped. Kaznas fighting for his life in the point. Vidman wipes T out. Whatever way it goes, man. Kaz takes. Captured. That was, a, that was a lot of damage dealt by Kaznaz. Just brute force taking the point back. Say, no, this is ours. Get out of here, cry havoc. Point contested. Come on, he needs to get on the point quicker than that, Flux. Viz looking to get a headshot. Point contested. Gotta hit those. Ooh. Point contested. 
Vidman dropping flux. T's hurt. Robo's hurt. T gets the heal. Vidman's left. Oh. Run into the The speed! <laughs> Big wipe on Kaz. Oh, a trade. Although, Kaz will have the shortest spawn time from this. So, hopefully, he'll take advantage of this. Don't forget, he's quickly looking at the center. Yeah, we're gonna wanna see V Re push. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to do something big now. The comet. Kaznaz was and not taking no really for an answer. Stagger. Are they just gonna push in or are they gonna wait? Nope. Nope, they're gonna. Oh, they're, they're gonna wait out the pack. Two tunnel and one coming from outside, so this is gonna be an interesting play and probably the last one by the time it's finished they're gonna get. Oh, Lux seems to be getting the ground. Yeah, he's going for a sneaky like back attack. So. Dropping an arc, can it pop off? Oh, it's taken out. Levity saw it coming. Still pushing the shield. And be left that's to gonna be a lot. Hoping for a payload. Possibly. But these guys are probably because, going to combustion yes, for a quick win. Vision or maybe combustion? Oh, I mean, we, we've known Robo in the past to, to go for Surge, which is always a bit of a... What? Why's the stream ended? Uh, the stream has not really ended. Bad. That was... Oh, right, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, okay. You, you weren't going to leave it for us to do a little bit of talking. Yeah, we can still keep talking. Or you could leave it back. Just put up something else. Yeah, yeah, we're still live. Okay. All righty right. then. We'll be right back with the next map. It looks like... They're going to get to choose. It'll be uh, Cry Havoc's choice. So what does everybody think uh, they're going to pick as the next map? Type it in the stream. Let's have a look. See, code is there. Yeah, we've got a few people watching. Um, I think no one's just speaking. <laughs> Cody, you didn't really answer the question. There we go. Combustion, yeah. I really think it's a payload. Oh yeah, like I said, I think it, it could either payload. be fission or combustion, but probably most likely fission. But Let's see if we can get Coda to pop in for a chat. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so get wrecked. You could come in and say hello in between games. <laughs> so how'd that go? Did that go the way you think it was going to go? Seeing uh, V Respawn come out with the win on the first map? I feel that Cry Havoc sort of learned from the second round, but it was a bit too late. Yeah, I think v Respawn yeah. had, was v good. Respawn the, had got a strong push, a very yeah. strong push. When they, 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 also had, point... yeah. they also did a lot of initial damage when Cry Havoc pushed in, and they also conserved their attack mods and, and ordinances pretty well as well. Uh, I think that, <clears> that also gave them an advantage. Yeah, I mean, in fairness, Robo usually shoots his wad a little bit early when he comes in. Um, Flux, aren't you supposed to be, you know, in a game? Yeah, Flux, you're supposed to be in game, mate. Stop chatting on the stream. What the hell? <laughs> we just have to wait until they're gone. Then we can start, you know. Well, that could be a while. 
Yes. <laughs> I think there is a game code to put in. Oh, there's a... Looks like we'll be coming back in a few seconds here with the second map. Ready to see what it is? <laughs> oh, Fission. it's... I'm putting my bets on Fission. But... It is you know, if I'm wrong, you know, I'll just do QB respawn. Oh, okay. Personally, I like to do a uh, payload. <laughs> if I if I lose a the capture point, you know, it gives you some time to work with your team a little bit, get back in sync. You know, it's a little bit longer, more time for strategy, less time for just uh, a, a free for all. So, if you're looking to get a win, you know, get at least one map and push it to three maps. It's good to get a payload in there. So we're going to see Cry Havoc on defense here and V Respawn pushing the payload on attack. I'm going to go ahead. I don't think he actually directly has access. Just can try and drag I'm going to go ahead and make the assumption. I'm going I'm to go with Cry Havoc on this one. He's here. Welcome, Coda. Gamers, how are we doing? All right, this is the grand finale of the 3v3. Uh, what is this? The it's the Echo the Combat League. Mini League. I don't know how loud I am. I'm probably going to be really loud. But what is up, guys? Thanks for the invite. And you guys are doing a great job. Love the tournament so far. And uh, man, that that first uh, map, it was almost close on that second round. I thought that uh, Cry Havoc had it, and they just kind of floundered there the last. Uh, last 30 seconds there and uh you know they respawn solid team sticking it out as they always seem to do but that second round was pretty close i gotta say on dyson uh what are we looking at here fishing yep we'll be looking at fission most definitely oh. this should be an interesting one now uh my team had to play fishing twice against uh, cry havoc because we had a uh, a game breaking uh, event uh, when we first played it and uh, the second second time that we played it didn't get streamed and let me tell you it didn't go very well in our favor I gotta say that uh, Cry Havoc is pretty strong on this map Com they they completely changed up their strats from the first time that we played them on this which was a super close game and the second game a little bit heavier in their favor and it really showed that they planned out things so I'm looking forward to seeing how they do Every on this, this uh, and you guys didn't see their strats but I experienced it firsthand and it was pretty dominating so should be a good game I have heard a rumor I mean, about Spawn looks they... like they fancy this because they look like they were lending them vid man for a minute <laughs> now let's see Cry Havoc's gonna be on defense first so uh, uh, I'd say second checkpoint is, is pretty strong coming up with Cry Havoc agreed V respawn is uh, pretty strong all the way through. Their defensive point is is strongest on third point uh, with uh, V respawn. Uh, uh, yeah, T. Quite happy. You can. Yeah, and we got up. a whole crew in here. Don't let me talk over you guys. I'm just uh, I'm just a oh, guest. So you guys no, take. We're, we're literally just all just chatting while it goes on, basically. <laughs> just fill the stream up and try and stop dead space. Well, I gotta say, I love that you guys are doing the the uh, Echo Combat Mini League uh, while ECFL is not active. Uh, it's really filling in Defense a void squad that uh, is needed among the, amongst the community, and uh, I know that a lot of people appreciate it, especially myself. So, you know, big shout out to the the guys who organized this. Uh, you've done a really good job. I think that's Vibonator, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It wasn't. It wasn't that. Oh. <laughs> Way to go, Viv. Yeah, Holding it down for the community. It completely changes the game when you're limited to only having one load out of each thing. Uh, a whole new meta is basically essentially. And basically a, a 3v3, which is uh, 
a strange thing to get used to in this game. And, and that, it's like, it would be hard in and of itself if it was just 3v3, but the 3v3 single stack just makes it very unnerving. It, it, it makes it very stressful because you have to be careful in everything that you do. Yeah. And you get to see some fun stuff like the shield being pulled out and arc mines being pulled out. It's exciting to see some of the, you know, everyone's rocking double heals for Paramatrix, Novas, when it goes to 4v4 2 cap. It's pretty predictable. Oh, I, I love seeing the shield get used in front of it. it never gets used. It's great. And here we are. Let's see how they can pull through. We got V respawn on attack. We've got Levity holding the duck down. Got Vidman shooting over his shoulder, and Kaznas is just tucking behind the boxes there on the right. Just chugging it along. All of Cry Havoc is on top of the boxes. Oh, T's making his push. But they're gonna get the single kill they need. And almost a double. T with the triple kill, really doing some damage with that Nova and his detonator. But you, oh, that was a good solid push to start. Payload mobile. We already have two members of V Respawn already out, and they've taken the Comet off of Cry Havoc. T's tucked away, trying to hide, waiting for his time to attack, but it's too long. He's 3v1 right now. Can he even do anything? And they hit too much distance now. Come on. Delivery accelerated. V respawn just comes in, walks it right in for the first checkpoint, almost uncontested. With three minutes fifty-three to go, with, which is a really good time to get that first section. Now through. we're gonna need to see Cry Havoc stop mobilized. them here at this choke point, because they love to take this tunnel and hold the roof, and uh, they can eat away a lot of time if they can slow them down at this choke point. Big double, very aggressive, taking the ceiling of the tunnel. So what you want to see from them, you want to see them pull this off. They're going to slow down V respawn. I was very surprised to see Vidman pushing uh, forward there while his team wasn't respawned. Uh, getting a little bit aggressive there, but as I said before, uh, Cry Havoc really strong on this second checkpoint defense. That duck is exactly where they want it. It's going to be hard to move it forward from there. I'm surprised that they're giving them the state. They're taking the back room and they're not holding the roof of the tunnel. The respawn's holding back intentionally. Oh, here they come. Because uh, they use a lot of their attack mods and ordinance. But they have them all now. They're going to just like blaze through this. I... This is a different defense than what I'm used to seeing from Cry Havoc. I'm... Let's see. Let's see if it can. Robo needs to get this kill. Flux coming There's in to help rats. out. Ooh, now the stakes are high. They don't have to go very far at all to get this second checkpoint. Really need to hold this back room. You know, like that shield once it's back in Levity's hand, it's gonna come into really low the uh, they push up in there. But he still doesn't have it back. Hey, they respawn pushing in before they have all their attack mods and ordinances. They have plenty of time to work with. Hey, they're getting a little too aggressive. Hey, the arc but mine. Wrong and, they, and they pull it off. The I think that was that was lucky. When you know when you're good, you can make your own luck. And I think that's what we just saw from V respawn. I mean, they got to right second point with what, 1 minute 58 was that? Delivery accelerating. And now they've got 3 minutes 57. That's a long old time they've got to get it up there. Surprised to see if Cry I Havoc cry not hold the tunnel the way that they, I generally expect them to. Yeah, they think they went for a bit of a, a less aggressive approach. Delivery accelerating. Too much time they can drain on the hill. Delivery accelerating. Big double debt. Didn't look like an arc mine got anybody. Pretty go off though. And Robo with the double. T and Robo staying really close, letting that repair matrix do its job, and letting that splash damage do its work. It's good work. 
Gotta hold this hill. Kaznas sneaking up on him. Surprise! <laughs> Yeah, those arc mines seem to be a little bit faulty. Maybe they thought it was in this game. T taken out with a debt in the Nova. Robo's next. Ooh. Kaznaz with a big double kill. And that payload is moving the entire time. Yeah. Kaznaz they're, they're gonna clinch this. cleaning up with a triple Kaznaz kill to take the hill and to bring the payload right in. They have one last chance it. to defend. Oh. 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 It's all down to oh, here it comes! Oh, it's going out too. Oh, oh, nice. nice. oh, Great oh, use of the shield there at the end. Staying alive and pulling it out for the team. Way to go, Levity. That arc mine just went off a little bit too late. Yeah. I think if that arc mine was placed just a couple seconds before, that could have changed the outcome of that fight dramatically. Oh, definitely. See, did anyone catch the uh, the time on that? Uh, is it one minute forty-seven, something like that? Fifty-two. It was around that time. Just, yeah, just under two position. minutes. So, uh, yeah, cry havoc. We've got to be starting to worry now. Oh, Levity's microphone's back to its wonderful Rift S quality. I gotta say, if if Cry Havoc pulls off the attack that worked against my team last week, then this Match is gonna be a very eight. fast first checkpoint. Ten, nine, which is gonna give them a eight, lot of time. We're gonna seven, we'll see here in a minute. Six, five, four, I've heard some rumors three, about this. Two, I'm excited to see one. it play out. Stop the payload. Looks like they're doing it. Oh, but they lost a man. Not sure if they intended to do that. They did get one in, in, uh, important kill. They might get the second one. That shield's coming. No, the shield! The, oh man, shield comes <laughs> into play. They've been working on that shield attack. That's a reason. Oh, unrelenting attack, but the arc mine stuns T. Robo's drops. T's left alone in a 2v1. We're going to see Flux on the duck. He's f retreating, waiting for his team. And I mean, that's the second version. They're still Halo haven't got returning. it anyways near where we really had it for this time. Halo They're missing their grabs. Yeah, I mean, this is oh, it's they're, they're falling apart. The yeah, trades, I mean, yeah, the trades are just not working out for Cry Havoc, and that shield is what shut down that uh, that second push, which would have given them the checkpoint if they had pulled that off. But I gotta say, seeing Halo that shield come in pro Halo play, is really, that was a pretty impressive play. I was Payload I mean, be, is Robo the captain of Cryhavoc? Payload mobilized. Uh, I'm not sure. I think they really have a captain right now. Just, uh, all three of them. But uh, they're getting you eaten alive right now. The shield just defending sorry. all three oh, players. Oh, they won't kill him. They staggered him intentionally. Uh, oh, that was cruel. That was just cruel Halo and unusual punishment. This could be the last minute. It's a horrible place to stop as well for the Flamingo. I mean, they've got to be panicking now. They know they've only got one, maybe two pushes left. Is he going low? Is he going down first. That's their Nova man. Got Flux taking on Kaznaz. Difficult matchup there. Payload returning. You that want... phase is not going to come in handy right now. He, he already burned left. it. But, uh, yeah. He, he shouldn't even be using that in the last uh, minute and a half. I mean, you're going to want your Comet to be supporting the attackers, not doing a one-on-one -on -one with the Nova. They do get an important kill. Good detonator. Robo going down low too, though. Two members. They're hurt. He's going to go down. There's two kills. Oh, they might have this checkpoint. Eight. Seven. Vids, Vids does not want to give it to him. He's going to contest until his teammates respawn in. 
Almost long enough. <laughs> they have a lot of time to make up for it. Let's see how this plays Edge out. Edge of my seat there. Edge of the seat. Yeah, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. Glad to see them make it. I want to see more of this. Well, these are two really good teams, regardless if it's 4v4 or 3v3. Uh, Robo and Vidman both do a very good job as captains leading their teams in the ECFL and obviously here as well, uh, seeing them in the, the grand finals in CML. Yeah, V respawn definitely keeping the, the level in their back, wasting as much time as possible. T putting pressure on levity. Trying to get out of there alive as Kaznaz chases him down and they trade. Kaz just oh, almost he, surviving. He does. Halo mobilized. Yeah, still alive. Robo, not afraid to shoot himself to kill you. <laughs> Dagger. Oh, man. Ooh. It takes Flux out an important kill. Halo returning. And again, that payload starts losing backwards. See, that flipped it from being a 3v2 for the attacker side to being a 3v2 for the defense side, that important kill. And that allowed the Comet some oh, the space to snipe out. without being worried about getting taken out as the other two are in close quarters oh, combat. One hit, he's gonna go down. Oh, there he got it. Oh, I think we have a crash or some sort of tank crash again. Delivery accelerated. It did look like Vid was crashed. We'll see if he drops out. Unfortunate time for a crash. Look, they have all three. They have all three. Oh, that's a huge pick for T. T and, T and Robo staying close. Detonator, Meteor. Splash damage, the Nova coming pick. in. That's a brutal duo right there. All the while, this and is still moving up. But Robo got left just alone. Right oh, don't out. turn your back on Kaz. He just got a double. Kaz is cleaning oh, up. He's going to get it. Oh, he's going to get that. Oh, Vidman steals it. <laughs> and you've got Vidman and Kaznas versus T and... Robo. That was going to be, that was such a dominating push from uh, Cry Havoc, and it's, uh, it's really kind of sad to, to see it fall apart right there. Kaz gets taken down first and then comes back for the triple. Payload mobilized. Delivery accelerated. Oh, got it. Robo going. One debt doing damage to all three players of V Respawn. Who can kill? Can T get the triple one? Great the placement one by right T. Taking out the Arc oh, Mine. Taking out Vidman. That was a nice stagger as well. Let's go, T. And his team's coming in to give him some support at the perfect time. Now we've got V Respawn coming in. Holding him back as the payload breaches the hill. Payload mobilized. Insane with that. <laughs> I think yeah, cheap death is fucked that for team. Oh, oh, Robo's chipped away. Two of them chipped away. Ooh, it's gonna be a white coming up in a second. No, he's gonna get the kill. Oh, what a trade at the end. Oh, oh, that's, I think that's the play of the wow. game right there. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely a clippable moment. Wow. No one left on the battlefield. Cry Havoc not even waiting for the third member. They want to come in and get this stagger. No, oh, but Kaz really holding it down. Oh, Flux is chipped Nine. away. He's down Eight too, and this is not looking seven. good. This is insane, guys. Five. Five. And that's Three. the match. Three. Two. V Respawn One. holding the crown. They dominate. They dominate. Round <laughs> there. Defense squad victory. Congrats to V Respawn taking it. I, I gotta say, Cry Havoc almost, almost oh, turned me? it around there and almost guard. completed the map. And Kaznash uh, just came me. back from, <laughs> from that early kill <laughs> and coming back with the triples. That was it's top-notch play from both teams. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, that was, that was 
be really playing how they used to play and how we know them for playing. Lobby time. I'm out. Yeah. So it, I mean, it, 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 it comes down to, you know, communication and, and everything else. And that wonderful mic, I mean, they did all of that with that mic game. <laughs> The whole time, which must have been oh, great. Uh, and Joel's taking us over to an arena game. <laughs> arena there, yeah. So, All right. so Ribbonator, can, can you spill the beans on anything else about ECML? Now that the uh, season one is already finished. Yeah, do you have any got... future plans or any other formats you're thinking of? Well, um, yep, we are looking into a season two, um, depending. You know, um, what sort of format are you thinking of going with? Is there a format or anything different? Um, we are looking into a more, um, let's say, challenging um, game. More of We're a thinking... larger game? You could say mega game. Oh, very, very interesting. <laughs> are we looking into oh, the man. Echo Combat Mega League coming soon? <laughs> I like it. Sounds what? like a What's spoiler. It? We'll have to stick so around and find Echo out. Combat Mega League. This sounds interesting. Very so let's just cool. let's say, we, so we can't do a 4v4, because we want to be different, but we're not doing a 3v3. It's going to be mega. All right. Go big or go Exciting. home. <laughs> we'll make sure to follow the Echo Combat Mini League, and we'll link you to the Mega League streams when they start. Uh, and congrats to V Respawn for taking it home. And yeah, nice well, job, well, Cry well, Havoc. Well, you guys well. played a great game. Yeah, well played, well played to both teams, but... We respawned, came out on top. Was, yeah, and you called it, Dazzy, when you said, you know, uh, the Cry Havoc, was it? Yes, when the, yeah. you said, you know, Cry Havoc, they had two good players and Robo, and it looks like you called it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did we get to down some, some serious business? What colour are the respawn gang in Discord? Pink. Pink. <laughs> Every, Bright everything pink. pink. Bright pink. Cyber pink. <laughs> Brown, <laughs> like poo. So, so we got All right, guys. Or I'm gonna pink. <laughs> I'm gonna sign off of here. Thank you for the invite to have me join in. I really enjoyed it's it. And, great uh, to have you, Coda. And uh, great, boys. great job with the first season of ECML. And uh, I'm out. Thanks for watching, everybody. So